Good morning and welcome to Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish here in Irwindale. Today's Mass intentions are for Ofelia Delgado, Familia Garcia, Familia Flores, Animas del Purgatorio, Ray and Francis Jackson's blessings, and for the uh, complete healing of Corazon Castro. Please stand. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here, until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to, to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have I greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my, my fault, through my fault, fault through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you with the minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, your God, who grasp your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O warm Jacob, O maggot Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a threshing sledge, sharp, new and double-edged to thresh the mountains and crush them to make the hills like chaff when you winnow them the wind shall carry them off and the storm shall scatter them but you shall rejoice in the lord and glory in the holy one of israel the afflicted and the needy seek water in vain their tongues are parched with thirst I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on bare heights and among fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into a marshland and the dry ground into springs of water. 
I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set in the wasteland the cypress, together with the plane tree and the pine. They all may see and know, observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. The Word of the Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great of kindness. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all us and compassionate toward all his word. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great kindness. Hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to this time of John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, in this time of suffering because of this pandemic, it's comfortable to hear the word of God through the prophet Isaiah to directed to his contemporaries and to us also to fear not because God is with us. He's on our side to help us. And as we have proclaimed in the responsorial psalm, the Lord is kind and merciful. And so we continue our journey through this difficulty of life, trusting in the closeness and the love of God for each and every one of us. <clears throat> Let us pray to our Almighty God to come and to save us. May the desert experiences of our lives never lead us to despair, but always hold out the hope that God remains with us and will lead us home. We pray to the Lord. May our own spiritual practices during these days of Advent fill us with anticipation of how God will act in a new ways in our personal lives and in the world. We pray to the Lord. Amen. 
O Lord, hear our prayers. May those who have recently died inherit eternal life. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayers. O God, whose guidance in the desert has shaped a people of your own, continue to shape us into an Advent people filled with the desire to make straight your path and the sure hope of your coming again in glory. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gift to us and may what you grant us to celebrate uh, devoutly here before gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with and you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as without end. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord. 
You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we offer. And we pray to make them holy by sending from down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that we may they may become for us the body and the blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus Christ along awaited God with us Emmanuel Glorified but angels singing Word made flesh among us dwell Morning star of all the nations, Son of God of Jordan's stream, evermore and evermore. Hear the voice of John the Baptist on the Jordan's bank proclaim. Lord, the Lamb of God, behold Him. On our sin He takes away. We have found a true Messiah, and He called us, follow me, evermore. Let us pray. May this mystery, O oh Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, 
you lead us and teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The celebration is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, praise thee with a sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day.